Hey oh people, Philip Blank here with a real quick review on the GoPro dual battery charger and new enduro battery. After using the Hero 10 quite a bit, I was tired of having to charge batteries and turn on the GoPro. So I picked up the dual charger, which comes with a spare battery, and I've already figured out that this probably is one of the most important GoPro accessories. So with it, you can take two batteries, charge them at once, and this will really help any time to keep everything juiced up. So in the box, we have the charger itself. One of my favorite things about GoPro is every item feels really high quality and this is no exception. Now, if you're a GoPro subscriber, this costs 39 bucks and it's 49 bucks standard. Also in the pack, this one comes with a free spare battery. I don't know if it's necessarily free, but. And then we have a USB-C to USB-A. Now, as everything switches over to C, I really do wish this was a dual USB-C, but oh well. So, battery. Standard battery, it is not the Enduro, sadly. I don't really need more of these, but there it is. So, these fit in quite nicely. It's a snug fit. Grab a second one here, as you can see. Um, when you press them in, they definitely have a firm grip to them. Not firm enough where you would leave them in a bag and trust that they're charged, but firm enough that it's not just gonna fall out. So we can shake these, and you can see they really do stay in pretty well. Now for the dimensions, it is 1.82 inches wide, 1.63 thick, and 1.25 tall. And now for the black magic, the Enduro battery GoPro says can last up to 40% longer on high performance modes. It can charge about 13% faster than the standard battery, but somehow it still only has 1,720 milliamp hours of storage. So they packed all this technology into the exact same battery shape. As you can see, there is really no difference other than the white caps. Dimension wise, it's the exact same as every other battery and it fits just fine into the dual charger. Now it would have been smart for me to charge the two side by side to see which charges faster, but I don't always do the smartest thing. Now at this point, I have been using the Enduro battery for several weeks now and I can say that it really does last longer, uh, but only at the higher frame rates. Again, that same milliamp hour internal points to better thermal regulation when the battery starts heating up because if you run it your standard 1080 or with photos it does not seem to really last as long but for the shoots that i have taken it out on normally i'd swap a battery out twice the enduro has covered the entire time but what stinks is i have several of the standard blue batteries and i really don't need those anymore because i'm just going to focus on using the white one now back to the charger wanted to get a battery 100% dead so I drained the battery all the way and put it into the charger. So I ran just one here. I could have done two at the same time. It does charge simultaneously and as long as your power block can support it, it should be the same rate. Now there are people out there who have done far more extensive tests on the batteries and chargers, but for me it took about an hour and 53 minutes just to get a full charge. So recapping, the best thing about this is you can charge two batteries with your standard USB-C and I really wish that I would have gotten this sooner. The Enduro battery is $20 if you are a subscriber and $25 if you're not. I really think GoPro did a great job designing this whole setup. The lights glow orange when charging, they flip green when they're all done, and I really have zero complaints. Does its job, does it pretty well. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below, and I wish you a good day. Peace.